Hi, it's me again, and I'm coming back from the Kangster Mystery Bookshop. And I would just really hope that the videos we've been doing here for you guys lately, like the podcast, informational videos, like how to do the Zoom, I just really hope that it's helping you guys. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll be able to see all the other videos that we have in store there for you. We even have some of our merchandising of our book boxes. There we go. <laughs> I had a brain freezer on our different boxes we can do. So if you'd like to purchase, we have like little teacups and you can do a whole gift basket set with different books and just call us or we'll work with you at 717-795-7470 during our business hours or you can leave us a message and we'll get back to you any other time then. But just to give an example, we have an awesome load of gift basket stuff that we can do. We can put, we have like honey sticks, tea, just to go with your books. If a birthday, um, Easter, um, any kind of holiday for spring anniversary, any like that, we can help you out on that. If they love murder mystery books, we got you covered. So on this video today, I'm going to be showing you what a book plate is because we've been having a lot of customers ask us here at the shop, what is a book plate? I have no idea what that is. And let me tell you, you aren't the only one. Before we did our, thinking it's the Deadly Hours event that we had, before we did that event, I had no idea what a book plate was. I was like, what is that? Did had no clue. It was brand new to me also. And then they, then we were told, we were shipped a couple of them. And here is the Deadly Hours one. So pretty much what it is, is because of COVID and everything going on, pretty much every author event where you can go and have the author actually sign your book in person was canceled. So to make sure that we can still keep that interaction going and that really special, like really cool thing where your book is actually signed by the author and you're like, oh yeah, I gave the most awesome gift to my friend for her birthday because it's actually signed. They're giving out book plates. So these are essentially stickers, which I can show you. It's like, just like a sticker peel sheet, like a vinyl, if you do any crafting or anything, it's just a sticker peel sheet. And it'll have like a little, like this one has the actual book cover, like on the edge of the design. So you know which book it goes to, it has the book title. And this one was actually written by four different authors. So you'll see each of their signatures on here. So whenever you go to buy the book, you just peel it off and you stick it in your paper and it's still signed. So all of these are still signed by the author. It's not computer generated, it's not anything like that. They're actually still signed by them personally. It's just that you didn't have to go to the event to get it hand signed. You didn't have to wait in that really long, ridiculous line for like two hours and like, you're like I have to go to the bathroom, but I have to stay in line. It's right here, all right in there for you. I'm gonna show you another one that we have from author Craig Johnson. So this one, and it all depends on the author and their book style and who's making it. So like this one had the book cover on it because it was specific, specifically for the Deadly Hours. This one is just saying Sheriff of Absaroka County on it. And it is from the state of Wyoming. It's stolen from the Sheriff's Department Library. So this could go in any of his books. Um, he has a lot in the series so of Longmire um, with the Netflix show there. And so this could go in any of them. And so they're gonna be slightly different on the back. So, but it's still the same like peel sheet. And I'm actually gonna demonstrate one for you here. So I have here is from actor Lou Diamond Phillips who did the Tinderbox. This one just came out this last year. We had an event, uh, event with him with Craig Johnson that we zoomed together with us in the fall last year. And I have their, um, book plate here for you lose my words a bit their book plate and this is the actual tinder box so his wife did all the illustrations for the book and I'm going to show you something really cool because this illustration actually comes straight out of the book and it comes off of page I believe it's 101 there it is so it's actually the book plate matches the illustration right out of the book and both him and his wife have signed them we have them available for our books, and you can purchase online at www.mysterybooksonline.com. You can go into our online store and you can purchase them there. So I'm actually going to show you guys how I'm going to put this one in. And usually the author signs on the title page. 
I'm going to show you what the title page is. This is the title page for this book. Now, not all title pages are like this, but more and more of them have been doing more of a bigger scene on the title page. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to block up this beautiful title page with my book plate. So I'm going to put it on a different page. I'm going to put it on this one. So as soon as I open the book, this, this one right here, I'm going to put it on this page. So what I want to do is, and I actually haven't done this before, so we're going to see how this goes. I have them at home. I just haven't had the opportunity to put them in. Oh, and you can also scrapbook them as well. I know a lot of ladies are into scrapbooking. I am too. Um, have a whole craft area. Love to do it. So you can actually put this in your scrapbook as well if you don't want to put it in your book. Some people don't like putting a sticker in it. And that's okay. That's really fine. It's however you want to do it. So as you can see, with the way they made this book plate, you just bend it right there. And you can see it coming up. I'm going to pull that off. And it's sticky, see? Just put a sticker. And then you can pull the other piece off whenever you put it on. So always make sure that it's the way you're facing. That'd be really bad if you take all this time to put it in the way you want. And then it ends up being upside down. Unless you want it upside down. I don't know. So I'm just going to match it up to where I want it to be. That's where the cover is, have it facing up. And I'm just going to put it down on the paper and you're just sticking a big sticker then. And I'm sure you guys know how to do a big sticker. I mean, I'm sure you did a whole bunch of stickers whenever you were younger. So now as you can see, there's an actually a third layer. There's, so it's kind of three. So I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna flip it down and smooth it all out. I don't want like creases or anything in it, that wouldn't be too good. So then I'm gonna bring it back up again. There we go. So see that one came out so nicely. We'll peel that off. I'm gonna show you. Got my little stuck. There we go. Just gonna pat it down again so there's no wrinkles or anything in it. If you get a wrinkle, it's not a big deal. And there you go. This is now a signed book. Now, I know it's not the same as standing in line, listening to a lecture and going up and talking to the actual author and saying, wow, I actually got to meet him or her, or, but we'll get there. We'll get back there someday. But for right now, we got book plates. And who knows, they may be sticking around for a while. So just let you know, if you'd like to order one of these with a book plate, you can do that on our website. If you'd like to order The Deadly Hours, we will have to order some more in because we are all sold out of that one. And I just started mine, very good. Cannot wait to finish it. Um, you can get that with the book plate as well. And if you'd like to order a Craig Johnson book, you can do that as well. So I'll see you later, bye.